Hi everyone, welcome to this little update video that I'm doing. Um, I'm about to record my next full reaction, but I figured, you know, I promised I'd do like a follow-up for Disintegration, which I have listened to. Um, how long ago was it now? Uh, at least a week, a little over a week ago. And I've been listening to it off and on, songs here, songs there. Um, and I've kind of formulated how I feel about it. Um, and to put it very simply before I kind of dive in song by song, I don't like it as much as The Queen is Dead. That's for darn dang tootin' certain. Um, however, there are a lot of elements I like about it. It's just, it doesn't quite form into a cohesive unit for me is the issue. Um, so like plain song, let, let me just say my favorites first off. Uh, plain song, lullaby, fascination street, prayers for rain, and Untitled. Um, I would probably say that Plain Song, Lullaby, and Untitled are my top three. I, I really like Untitled. It's grown on me a lot. Um, yeah, so it's really it really comes down to the lyrics for a lot of these. Um, I looked up the lyrics for all the songs, kind of like read through them as I listened. And it's tough because from song to song, I feel like it's either very poetic or very pretentious. Um, like the lyrics to Disintegration... Um, if I were to just pull those up here real quick, we got, Oh, I miss the kiss of treachery, the shameless kiss of vanity, the soft and the black and the velvety, uptight against the side of me. And mouths and eyes and heart all bleed. And it's like, at what point does this feel like, you know, an emo kid in, on MySpace in 2006 or seven? Which I know isn't fair, because this album came out in 1989. It's just, it's really inescapable for me um, to get through some of that cringe with these gothic lyrics. But on the flip side, I think some of the times they can be done really well. Like in Plain Song, I think it's dark and it looks like rain, you said. And the wind is blowing like it's the end of the world, you said. Um, and then like, you know, the, the chorus or what have you. Sometimes you make me feel like I'm living at the edge of the world. It's just the way I smile, you said. I think it can be done really well and really poetically. Um, Lullaby kind of treads the line um, with how poetic or pretentious it can get. And I've found that I don't mind Robert Smith's vocal delivery a whole lot. I, I mean, I don't mind it, um, but sometimes it's a little ASMR-ish. Like, I love Lullaby as just a musical composition. But when you have like, can't describe legs. Spider-Man comes. I'm like, all right, that's, I, I don't like ASMR kind of stuff. So any whispery delivery, just nope. Just, I do not like it whatsoever. Um, but if he sung this song normally, which, I mean, I've heard it sung live and I don't mind it, but like the studio recording is just way too whispery. I still love the song though. Um, some of the mixing on some of these tracks are really good. Uh, Prayers for Rain is just like a thunderstorm when you play it in the car when a good good bass kicks in. Um, again, another song that rides the line for lyrics. You shatter me, your grip on me, a hold on me so dull it kills. You stifle me, infectious sense of hopelessness and prayers for rain. I suffocate, I breathe in dirt. And I'm like, yeah, okay, all right. Um, you sound so tortured, I get it. Um, so it, it depends song to song really, in terms of, like, how well he's able to nail it, um, in my opinion. So that's basically it. Um, I think it's a great album. I do. I really think it's a great album. It's not entirely for me, just because the gothic side does feel a little... I don't want to say disingenuous, because that's not, that's not fair, that's not accurate. Um, it just doesn't translate to me all that well 100% of the time. It does like 60 to 70% of the time though. Like I said, there's songs in here I really enjoy. Um, and I've kind of warmed up to how progressive some of the album is. Because uh, most of the immediate songs are in the front half. Like Plain Song is fine uh, in terms of length. Love Song is fine. Lullaby is fine. But it's like having Pictures of You be the second track really threw me off. Because it's almost eight minutes long. 
Whereas the other tracks around it are five minutes, four minutes, three minutes, four minutes, four minutes, five minutes. And it's not till you get to, what is this? Uh, same deep water as you that you get into the nine and eight minute range. So it's like pictures of you doesn't feel like it earned its length to me. And that kind of threw me off a bit. I kind of wish like, I don't know what songs I would flip. I think pictures of you should have been closer down to the bottom actually, or in the middle, like right between Lullaby and Fascination Street, maybe. Don't know, just a thought. But that's just a little update as to how I feel. Um, like I said, I think the album is great. That's not going to stop people from lambasting me in the comments and saying, I don't get it, and I need to either be emo or goth or English to get it, or I need it to have lived in 1989 to get it. And like that's none of those are true. Um, that's called gatekeeping. Don't do that. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned, everyone, for my next uh, album reaction, which will be, spoilers, uh, Laughing Stock by Talk Talk. That's what I'm going to listen to right now. Uh, and I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. Kind of a post rock uh, gen- pregenitor, Genesis. Not listening to Genesis, thank heavens listening to laughing stock so expect that next uh thank you guys for watching let me know what you think about disintegration down in the comments below talk about it um it's a good album it's a good album um if i i'm probably gonna do kiss me kiss me kiss me by the cure um as my next cure album i don't think i'm gonna do pornography yet um so at some point in the future i'll do kiss me kiss me kiss me uh but until then disintegration day it is <laughs>